Hi, my name is Trey, and this is my channel, Trey's Myths and Tunes, and my show, Trey's Timeless 15 Minutes of Explain. And today, my talk is called, Why Friendliness is Wrong to the Fallen Controllers. Baby, it's all I know. This beautiful cold water, I tall paradise to the left and to the right. Your AI attempted takeover hijack human shit show for the sheep. I just don't want to know. I'd rather explain how peace can begin. So won't you take these broken wings and learn to fly again so free? And can't you hear the voices saying, take these broken wings and learn to fly again so free? And can't you hear the voices say, open up the book of life and let me in. Why friendliness is wrong to the fallen controllers. Well, fear is the opposite of light. Not hatred. But darkness is ruled by fear. Shadows are only powerful with the absence of light or and sometimes a healthy reflection of light. Pretty much everyone who watches my channel knows that the secret societies that run the world were either created by or hijacked by or infiltrated by the dark ones and the disrespectful dark beings. So, one of the reasons why I moved out here to beautiful California was to make it big as a music musician and to learn how to become a healer. As I've said before, or one or the second year I was here, YouTube it was invented. So I thought, oh, what a relief. I can have my own platform, my own page, and not have to go through the Rainmaker. But if I had, see, the famous people, okay, with the exception of Van Morrison, who, happened to be, who happens to be a Celtic-blooded Irishman that lives... In Europe, no other famous rock star had the courage to speak out in the last three years against the lockdown. Why? They didn't want to lose their contract with the Rainmaker. They didn't want to lose their ability to play music now. But I never stopped playing music. I never stopped telling the truth. I never stopped spreading awareness in my own way as much as I can that entire time. And even more so, like I say... Satan pitchforked my ass. You call yourself a shaman? You call yourself a yogi? Well, my Nazi followers are going to lock down the world. And then see how much of a healer you are now without all your resources and with them all locked down, huh? Well, thank you, Satan. You helped me be a better person. Thank you, Lucifer. You can only help me be better, as the cliche goes. You know, even if you take me out of this body, it helped my spirit be better. But I don't like learning in hell. I don't like having to wear a heavy jacket when it's a blue sky in a town where it's normally 72 degrees when it's a blue sky. Hmm. For the past four months. I don't like ice, ice nucleation. Um... 
So yeah, if they, you know, Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer, they both got pilots license of private jets when they're at their peak of their fame because, you know, they couldn't walk down the road. So for me, um, starting Castaneda when I was 16, it did uh, establish a sort of a schizophrenia in my mind of um, in, an unsurety or a, a fear of success, which I actually share with my friend I made the Pollyanna video about. So, you know, if either one of us can he get over it, then so this channel is really helping press the, the buttons, um, triggers on both of us for that, you know. Can um can I be coherent and respectful enough and do my job well enough and uh, spreading awareness and awesome music to actually gain the reputation or the social arrangement um, to take care of my financial needs, for example, or my ability to create my own legal place to reside and have a family and a farm? Can I do all that? through this brand new or this 20 year old medium of YouTube through open transparency, uh, being the, the grandson of a 33 degree Freemason, you know, I still have to, some things related to that to work through. So as I've said several times in my videos, I, I love the, uh, I, I read a lot of the Buddha's list, but the one that really sticks in my mind is called the, the four immeasurables. I'm not much for list, but friendliness, joy, equanimity, and compassion are four qualities that are so great you cannot measure them. They could lead you to the ultimate suffering martyrdom, or they could lead you to a closer, quick to a faster way to enlightenment. But they're uncontrollable to the dark lord. That's why they don't want you to ever have respect any of the four immeasurables because they all four um, individually and especially collectively if you practice the four immeasurables this is why I preach this part of Buddhism it is a path out of your social rut or your obedience to bullshit um, you become uncontrollable because they lead to immeasurable attributes that the Dark Lord cannot control so but when it comes to this college right over here um, University of California at Santa Cruz, um, there's this saying, I, I can't get a word in edgewise. It's such an MK MKUltra um, experiment, the whole university, particularly since they forced them all to keep taking their boosters. Um, I, I've given up um, what was once um, a random, to use the ironic, once in a while, spontaneous, sporadic, blue moon activity I had was to hang out at the trailer park and talk about Buddhism or shamanism. But now since they've all taken their boosters, it seems like a ridiculous idea, but that leads perfectly into, um, I don't know the other day on the bus. I don't know if I make a comment. I've actually developed this habit in Santa Cruz of, uh, through, you know, Comedy, a mixture of comedy, the, the Black Suns, Draco, Catholic culture, and the tweakers, the West Coast, the energy of the astrology here, which is that uh, instead of being polite, I'll make a surly comment or a joke to say hi, I'll just make a joke. So these two fairly attractive or moderately good looking, probably identifying as homosexual um, UCSC students sitting across from me on the bus a few weeks ago, and one of them, uh, I don't know, I must have made a, tried to make a lighthearted joke, and one of them, you know, of course, patentedly, um, extremely obedient, and, and, and even almost to the point of being talented, at, uh, most of them, at pretending like I don't exist, they said to their friend something, and then I hear the word randoms, and it reminded me of when I was in my 20s and my early 30s, when I actually used to think I was in love with UCSC girls, and they I'd hear that term thrown around, and you know. So this is how they denigrate um, someone, so that someone like me could never um, teach them anything, because I'm a random. You see, particularly if I'm staying in a tent in the forest, a woodsy, or a houseless person is a random. Okay, that means that I have no status in the hierarchy 
or uh, I'm not someone they should trust or believe or, you know, because I don't have enough money to have be a slave for the box system, um, whatnot, um, et cetera. I'm untrustable. So it's, so they have this blank. It's sort of like the word schizophrenic. It's a blanket term they use for all the people that are like, they're not going to fit in with their, their dogmatic, um, new world order narrative. We're randoms. <laughs> Just because they, it's a per perfect example of how they, again, they, they create a hierarchy of meaning and through status and money. Um, it's particularly the college is the university system. As I say, Christopher Hitchens' book, um, The Great Mistake, really details how they did it. Since I've had this body, they, they hijacked uh, the whole thing culturally. Um, uh, so a guy like me completely threatens the, the control narrative, right? If the student or the citizen listens, right? So, so nearly everyone that might be able to listen to me, unless they're um, a brilliant entrepreneur, they have the fear of, of blackballing, ostracization, um, scapegoating, and gaslighting just because they simply listen to me. Um I've heard tales that in the neighborhoods in England where the Rothschilds have their mansions, the families who set up Hollywood, um, there's lots, there's, there's mansions where, there's places where people don't know their neighbors. There's blocks and neighborhoods where nobody knows their neighbor. You think that's um, just a coinkadink? Um If you respect everyone, if you have equanimity, if you have friendliness, it inherently smashes the reptilian hierarchy because they can't stand it. Simply because it's the original model of human reality, which is not controlled by Satan, Lucifer, the shadows, the fear, um, selfishness, because it's real on the soul level the individual again it goes back to gnosis to be friendly the individual has to trust themselves the universe and to be in a haunted town on the west coast and be friendly you know it takes i see people from here are friendly once in a while but they're the amazing exceptions to the rule they're the really super advanced beautiful souls trying to heal the so-called bodhisattvas um, but on the other hand there's truth there's Many, many dozens of uh, people in the truth or community, the voluntarist, the anarchist, the peace, uh, uh, brave and free community who uh, won't talk to me, won't accept me. Again, perhaps because they see that uh, I'm not, that I'm, that I'm being an overgrown child, financially dependent, because you grow in, uh, when you live in a slave, slave a financial slavery system, um, everyone is judged by how good of a slave how much of a hustler they are you know which is like i say it has its pluses and minuses and i was that person uh, before i you know accepted after my mom begged me for three years uh, and again i it's not my whole psyche never accepted it i always believed and uh, they could never deter me from the belief in the self-healing of the body the belief in the oneness the belief the god or goddess is good um uh, but those truthers who won't accept me are still under the 3D slave or 3D ego idea narratives, okay? And that's why they can't watch this channel or accept demons and uh, idiot, retarded, powerfully psychic parasites in the fourth dimension. Um, the ultimatums of 2020, um, take it or take it or we'll take your job or take it or you can't stay going to school here is is really really symbolic um of the con contraction contractual negative aliens way of life okay this is the way they rule this is the way they roll and this is what we have to re reject um if you reject me because i present op ideas that are going to expand your consciousness out of your own personal psychological narcissistic traps of satanic trap trash then that's your problem and i'm sorry but i can't help you i want to help you so tune in to this channel when you're ready and uh, discerning the intent and all decisions behind behind the people making the decisions especially yourself is, is a huge key 
And um, you can become friendly again if you want. 